Amen. Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you because you have brought all of us here for this very special prophetic program. Father, according to the word of prophecy that has gone forth for this service, let there be no one who will come to this program and go on with a plastic experience. Let your people know, let them see, let them experience your power in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Please sit and God bless you. The mantle of power. Let me just pick two scriptures very quickly. In Second Kings chapter two, from thirteen. Second Kings two, thirteen. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan and he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said where is the Lord God of Elijah and when he had spit in the waters they parted either and did that and Elisha went over strange scripture but has a lot of lesson for us strange scripture plenty of lessons for us there was power inside that mantle strong enough to divide the river meaning that anointing can dwell in an inanimate object the power of God can dwell in an inanimate object this is what you want to key in today in this service also in Acts chapter 19 from verse 11 to 12 Acts 19 11 to 12 and God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul so that from his body were brought onto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and evil spirits went out of them means that through the ministry of this the handkerchief that the power of God got into it carried healing power it carried deliverance power this is why I'm praying for everyone gathered here today that the mountain you are brought here will carry awesome power that will change your story in the name of Jesus so the mountain is strong enough to carry the power of God to carry power that can position you for the right place to carry authority that will give you strength to act as protection and to give you respect the mantle and so this is where we're starting off this morning please bring out the mantle the handkerchief you brought here as a prophetic symbol bring it out now lay your right hand on that handkerchief and take your pamphlet 
there is prayer charge on the mantle there begin to pray those prayers on your mantle now lay your right hand on your mantle and begin to pray the prayers on the mantle now start to do that now god bless you as you are doing it, the power of god will begin to flow into the mantle and strange miracles shall take place awesome testimonies are follow jesus is here his power is upon this place name we pray father we come before you in those days the spirit of god moved upon the waters and by the pool of bethesda the angel would trouble the water and whoever got in first got healed let your angel trouble this man to anchorship now in the name of jesus let the power of god flow into it in the name of jesus let this man to become spiritual dynamite in the name of jesus let it become spiritual bulldozer in the name of Jesus. With this mountain in your hand, you become a terror to the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Now, why holding that mountain? It is time to pray this destiny changing, defeat destroying prayers. Let your voice be the loudest here as you pray. As you hold that man to your hand. Powers! Assigned to bury my virtues in satanic coffins. Can you shout that loud, Anka? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it loud and clear. Jesus brought you here for a purpose, and that purpose is to bless your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray so any power sponsoring my suffering can you say that again loud and clear be wasted in the name of Jesus open your mouth and waste them Jesus name we pray the powers fighting against my change of story what are you waiting for Death! in the name of Jesus makatenda kaya bo shendera bo santa Somebody is breaking through with these prayers. This is not a death on a bushet. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers! Biting me in secret. 
please pray this prayer with anger can i hear the sister shouting it let the brothers roar like thunder everybody shouting it loud your time is up die in the name of jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A servant for the man. Why remain standing? And with your eyes closed, place your own mantle on your head and leave it there. Leave it there. Aha. Electric current of the Holy Ghost is flowing through the mantle into your body a miracle that will shock your doctors is taking place in your life now that issue of blood has been healed permanently every cancer is drying up yes all the evil swelling in the body has been melted away yes that child old enough to talk and is not talking lay the mantle upon the child all the surgery that were improperly done the power of god is correcting them the power of god is correcting them the power of god is correcting them thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You can keep the mantle now for now. So you can lay the mantle on yourself. You can keep it in the house. You can keep it in the workplace. You can keep it in your car. You can put it on your bed if you know you are having terrible dreams. In fact, if you are building a place and the enemy is giving you stress, you can go and dump it there. You can go and put the man to there or dig a hole and bury the man to there. So that the land of spirit in the place will depart. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this song loud and clear. Let your voice be the loudest as you sing this song. You are still holding your mantle as you are singing. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood the blood of Jesus I plead the blood the blood of Jesus I plead the blood the blood sing it again loud and clear I plead the blood the blood Time. 
of voice can gather you will shout blood of Jesus seven violent times while you are still holding your mantle are you ready the louder you shout it the better let's go blood number two number three number four number five number six number seven Amen. Have your God bless you. We go to our next phase of prayers. We are done with phase one. Listen to these important statements that I'm going to make that will make you a good warrior in this second session of prayers. Listen very carefully. Number one, I want you to know that the enemy holds on to any ground he has taken in a person's life before conversion. Something that has happened before you got born again the enemy can still hold on to that ground if you have not dealt with it next some may feel that our warfare is too bold and too loud but war is a noisy business bombs and artilleries are not quiet war is never quiet I want you to understand that one also understand beloved there are surface problems there are deep problems some will clear away with just some small effort some you have to dig deeper 
Next thing I want you to know that the best way to escape from a problem is to solve it. Solve it. And problems cannot be solved at the same level of the awareness that created them. You have to go higher than the level of what created the problem. And every man or woman will have their share of problems. The only place of escape from problem is the grave. Many problems cannot be solved. Not because people cannot see the solution, but they cannot even see the problem. But there is nothing too hard for our God to do. So avoiding a problem does not solve it. That's why I'm prophesying upon the life of somebody here this morning. That whether your problems like it or not, they must surrender to Jesus. They must surrender in the name of Jesus. Listen carefully. There are several main sources of stubborn problems in man. Problems that dribble prophets, dribble deliverance ministers, dribble counselors. And you will do well to listen carefully. The first arena of deep problems. Number one is fighting the devil that fought your parents. Meaning generational ancestral abilities. Like father, like son problem, like mother, like daughter problem. Your mother married three husbands. And now, as a daughter, your first husband is already throwing you out. Like mother, like daughter, like father. Those, those are generational problems. The second one is the arena of curses and covenants. Curses have very strong power. It makes a person struggle without knowing what you are struggling against. In fact, when you study your Bible carefully, God was the first cursor. It was God was the first person to start to start issuing curses in Scripture. He started issuing curses in Scripture, and so anytime curses are issued against children of God, God takes it very seriously. <laughs> When Balaam was asked to issue curses, God took it very seriously. I'm praying for somebody here. Any curse or covenant that is initiating trouble for you by the power in the blood of Jesus, they must die today in the name of Jesus. A louder amen. Three is when a strong man is attached to a particular problem in a person's life. A strong man may leave somebody's health alone, but is attacking the business. He may leave a person's career alone, is attacking his marriage. So when there is a strong man assigned to a particular problem, until you deal with that strong man, the problem continues. Jesus was the person who explained to us the power, the ability of the strong man. So when the strong man harmed, keep at his palace. So his goods 
are in peace. I want to pray another prayer now. It requires a tenfold volcanic amen. Any blessing that belongs to you that is currently in the warehouse of the strong man, recover them in the name of Jesus. The fourth one is attack from the womb. Are these problems originating from the womb? Jesus turned to the parents of that boy who was manifesting. Since when has it been like this? The parents say, as of a child problems as from a child a problem started when somebody was six months old and now the person is 50 years old you need special anointing to deal with that number five arena of deep problems for man is sexual pollution the problem of sexual pollution has turned the destiny of many people upside down because every sex is a spiritual transaction whether it's a serious one or not a serious one it is a spiritual transaction and any sex outside marriage it's an express way to transfer demons whether you wear condoms or not the demons do not respect the condoms it has put man in serious problem it has put man in terrible headaches many men looking at me this morning will have been champions if not for the marine agents they slept with many years ago many women looking at me this man will have been so great if not for that useless boyfriend they had in school that was sleeping with them and god hates sexual immorality with perfect hatred he said i will personally supervise your punishment so when God is supervising the punishment you need more than deliverance to get out six is altar attack when a person's warfare is from an altar somebody has erected an altar against you, maybe in your village in your town or somebody doesn't like you there is something called attack from the altars it may be the altar you yourself raised it may be the one raised against you an altar attack is a serious problem when an altar is established in a place it gives the enemy control over that arena this is why some businesses don't work they have established the business on the top of an altar i'm praying for somebody here everybody cons any power constructing altar against you shall be disgraced in the name of jesus but the seventh arena is what we want to address today i don't know how long how much time we've got to address that but i will try and make you understand what i'm talking about this arena is called polygamous foundation polygamous foundation 
foundation. What is foundation? Foundation is what begins everything. Foundation is the starting point of your life. Foundation is what has been laid up for your future. Foundation is the grassroots of your life. Foundation is your personal genesis. Foundation is the platform laid for you by your ancestors. Foundation is the well from which you've been drawn from. That foundation is the beginning of your history. Your foundation is your parentage, your ancestry, your heritage, your genealogy, your background, your family territory. That foundation is your root. Foundation is normally unseen, it's down below. You can only see the building, this building. You can only see this building now. You can see all buildings, but their foundation you can't see because it's down, down, down below. If somebody constructed a building and later discovered that there's a bad foundation, it is a strong problem indeed. Will he cut off the house and lift it up and quickly repair the foundation and put the house back? That will not be possible. So this is why spiritually to deal with foundation is hard work. And many, and many ministers run away from it. And many are so ignorant about it. And they believe it does not exist. So, foundation is mysterious. The practice of polygamy is when one has more than one wife, more than one husband. There are over 40 polygamous people in the Bible. But God's original design was one man one wife Lamech was the first polygamist in scripture a descendant of Cain he had two wives Abraham had more than one wife some were even called concubines the result mockery jealous rejection so right from the scripture the evil effects of polygamous foundation has been displayed the only people who are completely free from what we are saying now you see if your great great grandfather was monogamous your great grandfather monogamous your grandfather monogamous your father monogamous or maybe you should be praying for the rest of us now Abraham's brother had both a wife and a concubine resorts terrible disunity Jacob was tricked into polygamy and later received two additional wives bringing the grand total to four wives result envy jealousy and hatred Esau had three wives Result? Adultery. Idolatry. I can go on and on and on. Gideon has many wives. Result? Violence and death. 
violence and death. Gideon eventually did something strange which destroyed him totally. Everything has to do with polygamy. David had eight wives, ten concubines. Result? Rape, incest, murder. Solomon has several wives and three other concubines. In fact, in fact, he was led astray and up to now the problem that Solomon created is still raging in Israel many 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 like that Samson his problem the result of his own was manipulation lust and vengeance so polygamy originated in the land of the Modra king But God was not the designer of all this. God's program is that he even forbade kings of Israel to be polygamous. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 17. Deuteronomy 17, 17. Deuteronomy 17, 17. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. That is act on not away. This is what God said. The trouble is that when people disobey what God is saying, all kinds of trouble follow. More than any deep problem that we have particularly in this part of the world the polygamous foundation has played a huge fact and a huge problem as a pastor in this ministry now he spent 8 years in the university a course of 3 years Eight years he was there. Simply because the father had 18 wives and 60, 67 children. Pastor was number 55. Those demonic wives who were fighting each other ensured that none of the children went to the university out of 67 children only this pastor of MFM became a graduate and he became a graduate because one week study one week deliverance one week study one week deliverance I'm, I'm praying for somebody here every effect power consequence of polygamous witchcraft against any life here die in the name of Jesus a seven fold man of polygamous foundation has turned many mighty men to dwarfs it's turned the day of many to night it turned glory to ashes it has done promotion to demotion turned motion to stagnancy it has turned success to failure has turned royalty to servanthood palace to prison 
progress to desert equal to chicken it has become a graveyard of so many destinies once it is your foundation you need to really seriously pray I've shared this with you before a friend of mine is also a pastor in Mountain of Fire now was failing all available exams why well, exam GC seven F's before I began to take those ones there was a time he was taking the GC one the one from London I know in those days they had a mark that is below fail they call it H so after F that is H again H means hopeless my friend gathered plenty H But he listened to a message like this and he started praying started praying started praying his father had six wives as he prayed one night he saw all his books arranged on a table and the sixth wife of his father was sitting on top of those books i'm praying for somebody here if polygamous witchcraft is a power sitting on your destiny receive your deliverance in the name of jesus receive your deliverance in the name of jesus receive it 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 in the name of jesus i'm going to stop here i continue on that time i have hundred effects of polygamy we're going to stop here so we can pray all eyes close as we rise on our feet rise on our feet we need to repent before the lord we need to make restitution if necessary i will need to pray warfare prayers but the case you are here you are not born again you have not just surrendered your life to jesus do so very quickly now by say what i'm going to say after me so father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life in jesus name amen you said i shall pray with me the ushers and counselors will meet with you or you can take our data and phone numbers from the screen all eyes closed father we're in an arena now where what we need is divine intervention father behold a lot of lives have been destroyed a lot of shining stars have been shut down through the power effect of polygamous foundation and polygamous witchcraft these are hardened powers but our confidence is this you said with man this is impossible but with god all things are possible i have given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy 
every power of the enemy every power of the enemy you are giving us power to trample upon them and so father as many as we roar in desperate prayer let their deliverance be instant in the name of Jesus get yourself ready now even if you think I don't come from a polygamous setup pray anyway it's safer to pray because you never know concubines your father had outside that you are not aware of can you shout this loud and clear my virtues stolen by polygamous witchcraft be released now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray Somebody is breaking through in these prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Please don't 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 joke with this next prayer and let your spirit be angry as you pray them every backwardness programmed into my life by foundational polygamy can I hear you shouting that your voice is not loud enough Your voice is still not loud enough. Every backwardness program into my life. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Aha! Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. We are not here to joke. Makatenda Rabo Shendera Bo Center. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your hands on your belly button area. Any curse issued upon me before I was born. Can you say it loud and clear? Say it loud and clear. Say it again. Break! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening, something is happening over there. Something is happening. Just continue, continue, continue. Continue, 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 continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Every curse issued upon me while I was in the womb. Pray. 
in the name of Jesus. Katenda yabo shende rabo center. In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is happening. The transactions that are taking place. Loads that are being removed. Problem connected to polygamy in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, 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 open your mouth. Ma kate ribo soton de ke yabo. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are in this program and you are seeking for the fruit of the womb, lay your right hand on your womb for the rest of the prayers we want to pray now glory be to the name of the lord thank you jesus satanic anointing of my father's house say it with only anger dry up in the name of jesus Open your mouth and decree it. This is not a day to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I'm praying for this person. Every resort of evil access to your clothes in your father's house. I command that arrow to go back to the center. Every resort of wicked access to your blood in your polygamous family i command the arrows to go back to the senders in the name of jesus any bondage program into your life by any dead person in the family i break the bondage in the name of jesus i break it 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 in the name of jesus I break it in the name of Jesus. Ma kapote sete. I break it in the name of Jesus. Thou power of inherited polygamy. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. Every old of polygamy on your marriage. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every sickness programmed by polygamy, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. A salvo for them. Please bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting now. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. 
good measure press and falling over. Let it be our lot. Lay your hands upon your children. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. When you come to Palm of St. John's, bring something special to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. You can put your offering in the boxes. Or you can use our number on the screen. As we listen to the, as you point to this altar with your right hand. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. We thank you for the enemies that you have disgraced in this service. We thank you for the attacks that have backfired. And we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord. Father, these hands that are stretched forth, let them become the hands of healing. The answer of deliverance, the answer of power, the answer of glory in the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity in your body, smite it 21 times and cry upon it to go back to the senders. Do it aggressively. Let's go. Do it well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. The healing power of God has moved upon so many people. Thank you, Jesus. Three prayers before we close and go. Bring out your mantle again. This is the final prayer on the mantle. Three prayers before we close and go. These three prayers, if you pray them and lose your voice, it is worth it. As far as you get the breakthrough. Oh God! enemies in the name of Jesus make me a terror to my enemies Put your mouth up, 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 put your mouth up. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blood of Jesus. This is not the hour to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. I see so many people who have been rich enough repossessing their possessions. I see sister at the back there. The concussion that the wicked wives of your father gave you to drink have been troubling your life since but you didn't know the origin of the problem right there where you are there's a volcanic eruption 
is the power of God in your stomach. And the power of God is coming upon you to vomit every evil thing that you have swallowed. Thank you, Jesus. All who are here, and your brain has been manipulated by polygamous witchcraft. Recover your brain in the name of Jesus. Recover it. 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 In the name of Jesus. This is the third prayer. Powers that are saying I will not go far what are you waiting for there in the name of Jesus powers that are saying I will not go far what are they waiting for in Jesus name we pray a louder amen the lord blesses you from zion make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory in this month you shall prosper in this month you shall shine in this month you shall be fruitful in this month all your secret enemies have been disgraced. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Makatenda lekayaboshenda. All the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood are signed against this country. All the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood are signed to drink blood beginning from now we release confusion into your midst begin to kill each other begin to attack each other begin to kill each other begin to attack each other destroy yourselves destroy yourselves destroy yourselves destroy yourselves destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus whether you are hiding in the forest or in the rocks anywhere you are hiding we decree by the decree of heavens destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus mighty name we pray and let us share the grace in fellowship surely